I know what you're thinking. But today we're only talking about playable characters and Dainsliff apparently. Whoever made this bracket fight was feeling very optimistic. Whose dialogue are you most tempted to skip? Who would you not want to be trapped in an elevator with for an entire day? That's the question. I know that for every character there are going to be people who love them. It's like pineapple on pizza. If you're new to bracket fights, this is essentially a March Madness style tournament where we end up with one definitive winner or loser depending on the subject matter. All right, well let's just get into it. Ayaka versus Dia. Neither of them are annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, her most obnoxious feature are her bangs. <laughs> she's a sweetheart though. Dia's got that like can-do fighter attitude. Maybe she's annoying when she's drunk and I feel like she drinks a lot, so I'm gonna go with Dia. Yao Yao versus Nahida. I don't have any strong distaste for either of them again. I'm just gonna go Nahida because she's not very self-assured, I suppose. Yelon or Ganyu. I love Yelon. I can't think of anything that I find obnoxious about her. Ganyu gives teachers pet vibes. She works a lot. She's kind of timid and not very self-assured. I think she's a little annoying. Ooh, Chi Chi or Razor. Um, they're both just weird. I think they're both kind of endearing. They're endearingly weird. Who would I rather get trapped in an elevator with? Chi Chi's extremely forgetful and I know it's not her fault, but that might get on your nerves a little bit, but Razor's probably stinky. Hmm. I'm gonna go Chi Chi. I feel like Razor has more of an endearing factor to him. Oh, this one's interesting as well. Shenha or A? I'm gonna say A and not the Raiden Shogun. Shenha is very muted. I feel like she would not get on your nerves unless you wanted her to emote more. I don't know. This one's a toss up. I don't feel annoyed at either of them. I guess I'm gonna go A. Girl, you've been trapped in your room for too long. Get out. Bennett or Kaya. Oh man, this one's totally personal preference. If you don't like the flirtatious type, I can see you being annoyed by Kaya quite easily. I'm gonna go Bennett. I'm not super into the chipper shonen protagonist archetype and also his clumsiness would probably get annoying, let's be honest. He's the reason why the elevator is broken, the elevator we're stuck in. Yanfei or Traveler? I have to go Yanfei. Traveler doesn't talk a lot, how can they be annoying? Fischl or Tignati? Oh, definitely Fischl. I hate to say this, but she's one of the top characters whose dialogue I skip. Ooh, Wanderer or Sino? Do you prefer people who tell your mom jokes or people who tell dad jokes? I don't think there's much to be annoyed by with Sino. Scaramouche Wanderer, he's gonna get under your skin and he knows exactly exactly how to do it. He's gonna be so annoying. He's giving class bully who's also the class clown energy. Kaveh or Alhatham? We don't know much about Kaveh yet. He's not in the game as of me recording this. I have been annoyed by Alhatham because he has that like um actually type of attitude. He thinks he's better than everybody. He's always condescending. I find him a little annoying. <laughs> Yai Miko or Heizo? Both the flirty type. I hate to admit that Yai's gaslighting would probably get obnoxious. Is the type that you don't know whether they're cheesing you or not. Can you just be open and honest with me for once, girl, please? Yunjin or Ito? This is, I'm sorry, this is a good. Ito's obnoxious. He's not annoying, he's obnoxious, but he's more likely to be annoying to people than Yunjin. Toma or Lisa? I know that Lisa gets on a lot of y'all's nerves. She was uh, pretty low on my most disliked character poll I did. Again, with the like overly flirtatious thing that I can see people getting annoyed with Kaya about, similar with Yae. Yeah, we're gonna have to go Lisa. Amber or Barbara? Barbara's not really hurting nobody. Amber, she's a morning person. She is the one who flicks the lights on when you're sleeping and is like, rise and shine. Stop being overly positive. It's annoying. Jean or Hu Tao? Jean overworking herself all the time is a little annoying. However, Hu Tao's demeanor is very strange and can be annoying. Silly churl. Like, you know the whole, you know the song and dance. We're clicking on Hu Tao. All right, last up on the left side of the bracket, we have Klee versus Xiao. I can see both of them being annoying. If you don't like little kid characters, then Klee is probably your choice. If you don't like people going, yeah, yeah, at random intervals, then Xiao is probably more annoying to you. <laughs> this is totally personal preference. Me, myself, and I, I'm not the biggest fan of the little kid character, so I'm gonna have to go Klee, but I can totally see it either way. All right, let's finish up this left side of the bracket. Dia versus Nahida. Blah, blah, blah. Neither of them are that annoying. I'm gonna go with Nahida because she's a riddle master, and sometimes you just want her to tell you, bro, if you're stuck in that elevator, she's gonna be like, well, I can think of a solution, but you know, you're gonna have to solve these riddles three before I'll tell you. We gotta lean into this elevator scenario to make these final calls. Ganyu or Chi Chi. I'm sorry, little one. Chi Chi just doesn't annoy me. I don't know. She's strange. She's a very weird character, but I don't find her annoying, really. A versus Bennett. This is making me feel bad. This makes me feel upset. I don't 
think I want to be trapped in an elevator with Bennett. I'm going to find his clumsiness obnoxious. Ooh, good, good matchup. Yanfei versus Fischl. It has to be Fischl. Yanfei does talk a lot and I find her quests to be annoying and I, I tend to skip her dialogue a lot. But Fischl is the queen of just going on a rampage with her dialogue. Ooh, Wanderer or Alhatham. Wanderer's obnoxiousness is entertaining. I'm honestly putting him in the same camp as Ito. You love their obnoxiousness. Yeah, he's a little rat, but you love to see it. Alhatham would like roll his eyes at you when you walk in the room. He would always correct you. He would always think you're stupid no matter what you say. I hate people like that. Sorry, Alhatham. I didn't put, I got like, I got intense there. I didn't realize that he annoyed me so much until just now. Yai versus Ito. This is a very interesting one because again, Ito is obnoxious, but is he annoying? Yai has that koi thing going on, which could be an- Okay, elevator. Close your eyes, suck yourself into this elevator. Whoop. Yai's on your left, Ito's on your right. Who do you want to be there with more? Don't be weird. Who's more likely to annoy you? Let me correct myself. Ito's keeping things light. He's keeping things fun. Probably messing with the buttons, which is annoying. Yai's over here, not concerned at all about the situation. Letting you handle it. Oh man, this is tough. Man, I hate to say it because this doesn't, this feels misguided. I have to click Ito though. That was a close call though. I don't think he's going to make it very far past that point. Ooh, Lisa or Amber. Yes, Amber is going to wake you up at 6 a.m., but Lisa, is going to make you mildly uncomfortable with her flirtations. Although I feel like she knows not to take it too far. She do be making weird noises while climbing up a cliffside though. I would consider both of these girls to be mildly annoying. I'm not gonna say I feel strongly about either one of these, so I'm gonna have to go Amber. She's got tutorial girl syndrome. When people hold your hand and tell you what to do in a video game, it does get annoying, right? You guys, you guys know this. Hu Tao or Klee. Klee's cute. I, I can't click on Klee. I have to go Hu Tao for this one. All right, almost done with the left side of the bracket. Then we'll go to the right side. Let me try to wrap this up quickly. Nahida or Ganyu. This, this upper left quadrant, I'm gonna say, is not bad. They don't annoy me that much. These are very minor grievances. <laughs> oh, I have to go Nahida because her voice annoys me. I have to do it. I'm really sorry, girl. Bennett or Fischl? Aw. Um, <laughs> it's gotta go to Fischl. I'll hate them or Ito. Definitely I'll hate them. Ito, you have been saved. Amber or Hu Tao. Her Billy Trill, Hilly Trill song is kind of annoying. Also, her voice cadence can get a little annoying after a while. I'm gonna go Hu Tao. Okay, final matchup. Fischl versus Nahida. Fischl. And Al Haytham versus Hu Tao. I love that he's making it so far. I love this development. This realization. <gasps> oh my god, wait. <laughs> this is an insane matchup. These are completely different personalities. These two are so absorbed in their own mental space. They have this like force field around them and very limited social awareness. All right, Fischl loves to monologue. She goes off for a very long time. I do skip a lot of her dialogue. She speaks in tongues. I don't know what she's talking about half the time. Al Haytham inherently does not get on your nerves by like the types of things he says. It's how he says it. Like I said, he's arrogant. He has bad blood with quite a number of characters. A lot of people don't seem to like him. So he causes a lot of discord within groups. What's gonna happen if I click on Al Haytham? But Fischl seems like such an obvious answer. Am I gonna have to take this one to Twitter? I kind of want a second opinion. Can I phone a friend? I'm doing it. Nobody can stop me. I did it. I posted a poll on Twitter. All right, I'm gonna give this five minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I'll let that poll run for 10 minutes. 66% say Fischl, 33% say Al Haytham. We're letting the people speak. I'm going with Fischl. Okay, we're onto the right side of the bracket. Let's try to breeze through this. Diona versus Chong Yoon. I'm gonna have to go with Diona. Ning Wong versus Tartagles. Hey, girly, hold still. Yeah, you know what we had to do. <laughs> Kazuo or Ayato. Neither of them are inherently annoying. I'm gonna go with Ayato only because he's a little long-winded and Kazuo just speaks gold. Every word out of his mouth is just gold. Layla or Sara? Sara is Karen energy. I know people get on me sometimes for saying that, but she is kind of loud and she is pretty aggressive and opinionated, so I'm gonna go with Sara. Eula or Rosaria? I love Rosaria. She's my girl. I feel like her cold hardness might be annoying to people, but Eula with her constant threatening behavior. I'm sorry, it's kind of annoying. Dancelift or Kale? Dancelift loves to pull a disappearing act, which is obnoxious. I feel like he's withholding information, which is annoying 
things. Like, just tell me what's on your mind. Please tell me what you know. Kale has been through a lot. She's dropping stuff a lot, but she had a Elazar. Like, she had a reason. I have to go with Dainsliff. Sayu or Kaching? While Kaching is a bit uptight, Sayu sleeping all the time can get a bit annoying. She would not be helpful in a stuck elevator situation whatsoever. Noelle or Sucrose? Both are shy. Both are kind of timid. Sucrose takes it too far. She also is into weird stuff. She's got, like, creepy vibes, which is annoying. Candace or Kokomi? Again, I don't dislike either of these girls. I quite like both of them. I know a lot of people are actually annoyed by Kokomi and her tactics, so I'm gonna click on her. Tungling or Venti? Both are pretty peppy and hyper people. I've been annoyed at both of them before, but Venti just really takes the cake for me. He is not my cup of tea. Zhongli or Baiju? I know some of y'all are gonna disagree with me on this one, but like- Osmanthus wine tastes the- Right? How many times have I heard that when just sitting on the screen? He's like, he doesn't have any other dialogue lines. Mona or Shinobu? I have nothing bad to say about Shinobu. Mona, pay your bills on time. Dory or Xinyan? Dory. Scalping me over the coals. That's not the expression. <laughs> Albedo or Goro? I can see some people wanting to go for Albedo because of his, like, tone, I guess. He's sort of monotone and, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, blasé? Is that the right word? He's, like, apathetic. Whereas Goro, he's... I feel like he's lacking in the self-confidence department. I don't know. Goro is like a slight head up in this department. Singcho or Yoimiya. Singcho's got a little bit of that Al Haytham condescending snark to him. And D Luke versus Beidou. Brr, um, Beidou is similar to Dia. I think she might get a little bit loud and annoying when she's drunk. This really depends on what type of people you prefer to hang out with. I'm not super keen on very loud party people. So I'm gonna have to go Beidou. I feel like D Luke and I would have a bit of an understanding. All right, round two. Diana versus Tartagles. Oh, goodness. Being in the Fatui Harbingers is really obnoxious. I know Diana has a bad reputation and a lot of people don't like her, but the TCG event really opened up my interpretation of her personality. She's just a little sassy queen. Like, she's not that bad. I am getting sick of hearing his voice during the weekly boss fight. I gotta do it to him. I had to do it to him. Aito versus Sara. Gotta go Sara. Eula versus Dainsliff. Hate to say it, but I have to go Eula. Sayu or Sucro. Sucro weirds me out, dude. She annoys me. Kokomi versus Venti. Definitely Venti. He gets on my nerves. Jungli or Mona. Neither of them annoy me that much, but uh, the Osmanthus wine has to stop. His dialogue goes on forever sometimes. Dory or Goro, definitely Dory. Xingqiu or Beidou. I'm gonna go with Xingqiu just because of his tood. All right, Tartaglia versus Sara. I find myself annoyed with Sara more frequently. She's always mad. Eula or Sucrose. Find myself wanting to skip Sucrose's dialogue more frequently. She's timid yet sus, and I find that annoying. Venti or Zhongli. Personally, definitely Venti. I know there are like some aggressive Venti lovers. You can admit that he is the pineapple on the pizza. He is not for everybody. Some people swear by it. They think he's very refreshing, similar to the pineapple on your pizza slice. But other people think that it is grossly sweet on an otherwise savory piece of pizza. Okay, I'm going with venti. Dory or Singcho. All right, I've had some time to remember what the actual phrase is. It is raking you over the coals. Dory be raking you over the coals a little bit too much. Sara or sucrose? Ooh, interesting. I have to go sucrose. Something about her really rubs me the wrong way and I can't put my finger on it. Venti or Dory. Oh man, the pineapple lovers are gonna be so upset. But the pineapple on pizza people don't run the city. I do. I'm going with Venti. And Sucrose versus Venti the Bard. As much as it stings, this is very accurate to my genuine feelings when it comes to seeing them in a quest. When I dig deep into my soul, I have to go Sucrose. She gets on my nerves a little bit more. And the final matchup, Fischl versus Sucrose. This is tough because I don't give much thought to Sucrose. When Fischl is on screen, I definitely am like, I'm annoyed by her. But Sucrose, she's like a sleeper hit. She appears more frequently. I don't find her cute. Sucrose is just odd. You know what we have to do? Elevator question. Close your eyes once more. You're in an elevator. Fischl to your left and Sucrose to your right. The elevator is not functioning. You push the buttons and nothing happens. Sucrose is sweating profusely. We're all gonna die, she says. Fischl says, I, the princessin of this elevator, declare. We will not die. We will live to see another day. Oz, fly through the elevator shaft 
and free us from this prison. And then Sue Cross is like, I never told Mr. Albedo how I feel. I don't even know what her voice sounds like because I never listened to her dialogue. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, 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 miny, mo. I landed on Fischl. And through a game of eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Fischl has been declared the most annoying playable character in Genshin Impact. A very close matchup against Sucrose, I'll hate them, and Venti the Bard. If you told me that any of these four characters were annoying to you, I would definitely believe you and nod my head in agreement. Like I said before, not everyone's yuck is gonna be someone else's yum. I'd love to hear what your opinions are in the comments below. Let me know who you think the most annoying playable character in Genshin Impact is. Feel free as well to give me a topic for a future bracket fight. I'm always down to do these. These are quite fun. Thank you as always for watching. I'm so sorry if I slandered your fave. No hard feelings. Not everyone likes pineapple on their pizza. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.